What's up with you? For today's video, we're before Porygon Evolution Team. Now, currently, I'm still away on holiday. However, we got a really cool team today. So, we got Porygon, Porygon 2, and Porygon Z. Now, since there's only three Pokemon in this team, right, I shall be using two of each to so the shiny variants and the normal ones. If you people want to come and follow me on Twitch and you haven't already, please do. Link is in the description of the video. That's where I do all my Pokemon theme teams, my Pokemon sweeps, any sort of battles, and of course, non Pokemon games as well. And I love to interact to my audience there. So come on over if you haven't already and a drop I follow there. I almost stream every day. Alright, the first battle we have today was against Mr. Mysterious and we got uh, two battles today with this team. It was a pretty fun team to run. I got to admit, Porygon gets a lot of uh, really, really cool moves. So we're going to be starting off with Porygon Z here and we got a Gardevoir. So Gardevoir's got some pretty good special defense. However, I'm going to be running a physical one with analytics. So we got Double Edge, Zen Headbutt, Air Waste, and Thief Right. Now the item is Citrus Berry. So after I've used my Citrus Berry up, I might be able to Thief a, a choice, Ben. And uh, yeah, I can go from there. So I've got Max Health and Max Attack with Brave Nature, Analytic. And unfortunately for me, right, the Gardevoir set up a Reflect for a Light Screen. It's like, oh, that really, really. That's so unfortunate because if they went for the light screen first, I would have done like way more damage. So now Gardevoir is going to be setting up a light screen here and it's got a reflect. So I'm like, okay, it's got both the screening moves. I'd say it's probably going to have like possibly, you know, two attacking moves, probably just like a, two forms of stab or maybe another status move and like at least one stab, right? So I went for uh, two double edges there and now got, finally Gardevoir is going to hit me with a Psyche. Doesn't do a lot of damage because I am running pretty uh, a pretty bulky Porygon Z set here. And my Citrus Berry is going to be eaten. Now what I can do right is go for another double edge and take out the Gardevoir. And that will give me a pretty good lead. The only bad thing is there are a few screens remaining on the field. So I'm going to have to sort of wait till they run out before I can do some you know, really, really good damage, right? So the next Pokemon that's going to come out here is the Thwacky. And it's got the Grassy Surge. I'm like, okay... This is either going to be a sweeping one or like an Everlight one, right? And uh, I was a little bit worried about the Everlight one behind screens because that would be doing like literally no damage. So all I've got here is Thief. I was like, let's go for Thief now. Steal the item and then at least it won't be as bulky as it was before, right? And uh, now Thwacky's going to hit me with a Drain Punch and that's going to take me out. Unfortunately, I would have loved to be able to take that Everlight away. Well, I'm assuming it's got Everlight, right? So it's got the screens up and it's got Everlight making it like pretty absurdly bulky. So, uh, I mean, any, um, I guess any sort of Everlight Pokemon behind screens would be pretty bulky, right? So, going to Porygon this time. Now, Porygon, this was my Trick Room Magic Coat set. This one I usually kind of led with to get the Trick Room up because a lot of the Porygons on this team or the Porygon line, uh, you know, kind of like that Trick Room going to, you know, first under the Trick Room there, right? And they were pretty slow, except for stuff like Porygon Z, which is pretty fast, right? Now, Porygon is going to twist them dimensions. It's going to get a little bit of health back there with the uh, grassy terrain as well. So I've got Tri Attack and Shadow Ball as my other moves. They were just simply there for coverage, right? So we've got the Grassy Glide here from the Thwacky doing a lot of damage to me. Um, I'm going to go for the Tri Attack there. Um, I was hoping to get maybe like a burn or a freeze or a paralyze, but none of those things happen. Unfortunately, since the trick room is up, the Thwacky is still able to go first with the uh, you know grassy terrain and grassy glide. But that's okay. I want to get the trick room up when the um you know the grass actually went away and stopped giving priority to the uh, Thwacky, right? So uh, it's gonna be almost back at full health there. I'm gonna be swapping in my Porygon, my other Porygon, my shiny Porygon. Now this Porygon set was pretty fun to run as well. So this one, I, saw, I had to sort of like take this out. I feel like I need to really take this out in one shot, right? So I've got a Protect and Last Resort Porygon here. First thing, I'm going to go for Protect, right? I want to try and stall out that grassy terrain a little bit there and see what it's going to use. It's going to use the knockoff. So like, okay, that, that's that's kind of fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Now, the item I had on this one was Silk Scarf to boost the power of Last Resort, right? So the Reflector's finally worn off too. It took ages and ages. And now I can go for a Last Resort here. So I have to go like for a Protect first and then I can go for Last Resort, right? So now go for the Last Resort under the Trick Room and it drops really, really hard there considering it's definitely an Everlight set. And uh, now we've got the Grassy Glide here and that's not going to do very much damage at all. So now the Light Screen has finally gone. The Trick Room has worn off, but I can go for a, a Last Resort here. I know that I can live another Grassy Glide. However, we've got the Drain Punch and Porygon lived on two health. That was so clutch right there. That live was very, very good. So the uh, Thwacky's going to get some health back there from the uh, from the Drain Punch, of course. I'm going to be going for another Last Resort, and that is enough to take it out. Man, that Porygon was so good there. Like, MVP of this battle so far, right? So the next uh, Pokemon we got is the Bisharp. So it's like, okay, Bisharp. 
All right. With this set, there's not a lot I can do. All I can go is for a, uh, you know, just a normal type move, uh, the uh, last resort. But it's not going to matter because I'm going to get outsped by the Lash Out Bishop. So down goes my Porygon. I've lost both my Porygons now. I feel like there's probably going to be another Porygon in the future in the games, and I'm going to have to redo this team. I don't know. Maybe like a Porygon. What would, what would you guys say if you have to have a new Porygon? Would it be Porygon 3? Would it be Porygon X? Porygon... Uh, I don't know, Porygon Y. I'm not sure. What do you think? Give me a cool idea in the comments section. Anyway, so this is a pretty wild set. We got Hyper Beam, Zap Cannon, Thunder, and Psychic. I doubled up on the electric moves because I wanted to get some uh, good old Zap Cannon. And I thought, well, if Zap Cannon wasn't an option, I could go for Thunder Ride. And uh, Hyper Beam's going to be there for Stab, which is going to be pretty good too. And Psychic's going to be there for uh, Fighting type Pokemon, which my whole team is weak to, right? So I thought, okay, things are looking fairly desperate at the moment. I need to Dynamax my Porygon Z. Now, this was definitely one of the more uh, better sets on my team. And when I mean better sets, I mean probably just a little bit better than the other ones. This is max speed and max special attack. It's got the download ability too. So basically I was hoping, you know, to get that download, download those hacks and get that uh, plus one in special attack right. So uh, we've got a big old Porygons here. We're going to be going for a max lightning and max lightning is going to be hitting super hard and taking the Bishop out in one shot. I did the max lightning off our zap cannon as well. Now we got the electric terrain on the field too. That's actually going to boost up all the uh, you know the electric moves that I got, which is going to be pretty strong coming off Porygon Z. So the item on this one was Life Orb as well. So it, it was no joke, right? It was hitting very, very hard. So the next Pokemon we got is the uh, Type Scum. I mean Type No. Now I'm like, okay, well, we got 140 base power Max Lightning. That's going to do a lot in the electric terrain, right? So I may as well just go for that. It's probably going to be doing almost the same as a Max Strike anyway. I know that I can outspeed it, so the speed drop for Max Strike Hyper Beam won't be doing... You know, uh, you know, won't make much of a difference at all, right? Now, upon doing that, they are going to Dynamax their Steel Valley as well. I think this is the first time seeing uh, Steel Valley Dynamax in a while. And uh, Steel, Va not Steel Valley Type Null, man. I always get Type Null and Steel Valley mixed up, right? I don't know how. I just do. Uh, must be because they're in the same evolution line. All right, so we got the, the uh, Max. Uh, this was the Max Lightning coming off the Zap Cannon. I think I think Thunder and Zap Cannon have the same uh, base power anyway. And it only does like half. So I'm like, okay, it's definitely a bulky set for sure. And uh, now we got the Max Strike here on my Porygon Z. So like, okay, that's going to drop my speed a little bit. That's, that's sort of annoying. But I was like, okay, well, I could just take this out. I could even swap the Porygon out afterwards to uh, get rid of that speed drop. And, you know, the next one is, is going to be very close to taking out. I, I was quite confident I could take it out, right? So I wait for my electric type move. I think it was Zap Cannon or Thunder Ride, uh, the max lighting on the uh, Type Null. And Type Null just managed to live it on a little bit of health. I, I wanted to say one health, but it's it's not one health. But, you know, close enough, right? So now it's going to go for a max Steel Spike. That's not going to do that much damage, and it's going to get a defense rise. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. I can definitely take this one out afterwards. Um, maybe if they tried to stall out the rest of their Dynamax and got a rest off, that could be bad. So I need to take this out before that happens, right? So uh, here I've got High Beam, Zap Cannon, and Thunder, and Psychic. I was like, let's go for the 100% Psychic. I really need that one uh, to take out the Type Null, right? So go for that Psychic, and down goes the Type Null. And they've got two more Pokemon left. I've still got three left, but Porygon Z is only on like a little bit of health, right? So... I don't think he's uh, going to be long for this world, right? So I've got like probably like one one or two more attacks to fire off from this Porygon Z. I really have to one shot here. So we've got the Drag Cloak coming in here. I was like, what is this set going to be? Is it going to be like a bulky Everlight one? Like, what is it going to be? And I'm thinking, okay, straight away, this thing's definitely going to be out to speed me, right? Because it's a fast evolution line. Plus, I've got a negative in one from that uh, that uh, Max Strike from the uh, Type. No, right. So they're going to go for a Dragon Dance. It's going to be a physical set. I went for Zap Cannon in the terrain and it missed. This is, oh, I would have loved to have landed that. That would have been straight fire if I landed that. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. So I'm like, okay, what can I do now? I'll just go for, I could go for Psychic, right? That'll work. You know, Life Orb Psychic will do some pretty good damage. Now they're going to get a second Dragon Ants up. So obviously, I need to really take this out before I get swept here. Uh, it's going to get plus two in attack and speed. It's going to be very, very speedy, right? So I uh, go for the Psychic there, and that does heaps of damage. Take it all the way down, of course, to a Focus Sash. I knew there'd be a Focus Sash somewhere here. There's always a Focus Sash. So the great, great news, people, great news. I got a special defense drop when they're on one health. That changes absolutely everything. 
So now I've got three health left. I know they're going to attack me, and we've got the acrobatics here. And Porygon Z is going to go Porygon down. Now, I've got two more Pokemon left, right? I've got... Actually, I've got two more Porygon 2s left. Now, this Porygon 2 set was actually pretty interesting. But in this case, I, it was really hard to actually do anything. So uh, we got the download. Firstly, has the ability getting that spicy special attack rise. I've got in this set a Rest, Gravity, Zap Cannon, and a Snore set. Yes, I love running Zap Cannon. It's a very, very uh, fun move. So the only thing I can really do here, right, was go for the Gravity, right, and then for Zap Cannon, because Snore didn't work against it. And, like, I only had Zap Cannon, so I had to go for Gravity to get the uh, increase of accuracy, right, and then go for Zap Cannon to take it out in one health. But that was my only option here. I was, like, I was really, really worried where I could, you know, going to take this one out or where are they going to live right so i'm going to leave the acrobats just the evs on this one were as follows max health and max special attack and i had everlight as the item there too so making myself reasonably bulky so down goes the drag -like. there's one more pokemon left there and that is the octillo so I'm like oh man i can go for a zap cannon here because the gravity is still on the field and uh, that is going to do a lot of damage because I've got a plus one as special attack too. So going for that Zap Cannon, locking in against the Octillery. And I'm like, if this lands, it's going to do a lot of damage. If we've got Assault Vest, it, it might be able to take it out. But i still got one Pokemon after this. So Zap Cannon is going to land and the Octopus is going to get electrified. And that, my friends, is the first battle. Hope you enjoyed it. That was a really fun team to uh, uh, diverse and uh, some cool Pokemon uh, there as well uh, with the Dracloak and stuff like that. So the next battle here, I've got uh, this one. One was against Elisa. I think it was Dilly King on Twitch. And uh, this was also a very interesting battle too. There was a couple of scary Pokemon here. Like in the team preview, I was like, oh man, what am I going to do? So uh, we got the Lily Queen as well, which is the Lilligan. And uh, Lilligan is a pretty a dang good Pokemon, right? So start away, I was thinking, okay, it might use like Sleep Powder on this set, right? So I'm going to trace and get that own tempo, right? In case I get confused, you know what I'm saying? So I've got the, um, I've got the own tempo Porygon, Hacker Exposed, and now I can go for a uh, Magic Coat, right? In case I go for a Sleep Powder. At least that might stop them from, it will d discourage them from using Sleep Powder over and over again. Now, I know this this could be Equivident set, most of they are, and I was a little bit worried about that. So I went for the Magic Coat just to see what would happen, right? I wasn't too concerned if it failed or it didn't fail, but it'd be kind of nice. Um, so we got the Equivident turn one, straight up Equividancing on turn one. I was like, oh man, this is really, really bad, right? Now, I do have a Focus Sash on this set. This is the uh, my setup, Porygon. Now, I've got Tri-Attack, uh, Shadow Ball, and Trick Room. So, like, i got to get Tri-Attack up, right? Because I, at least if i got some speed control, I can do some damage, right? Now, on the special side, I won't be doing, like, lots and lots of damage because after Quiver Dance and, you know, the, the, just the general bulk of Lilligan on the special side, it's not going to be doing much at all. So, now they're going to go for another Quiver Dance. So, they got plus two in uh, all their stats, special attack, special defense, and speed. I've got to do something right. So getting that Trick Room up, that's important. So now I can get a Tri-Attack up. I was sort of hoping I could get some hacks with Tri-Attack here. I'd be able to get like two Tri-Attacks off against the Ligand, and then I could probably bring something else in, you know, if all else failed, which I was I was pretty certain was going to because, right, this Porygon didn't have much special attack and, you know, Lilligant was fairly bulky. So as you can see, that did basically no damage. And now Lilligant is going to go for a Petal Dance. So Petal Dance is going to be really, really fast. Set. That wasn't, sorry, that was a Everlight set, not Focus Dash. And uh, that drops my Porygon in one shot, which I already knew was going to happen, right? So we're going to bring in Porygon here. My next Porygon, this is the uh, Protect Last Resort Porygon. So like, okay, I've got to use Protect him. And then I've got to use Last Resort, right? This Porygon, right, was really, really handy in all my battles. Like, I could have probably used it on Porygon like Porygon Z for a little bit more offense, but I thought it'd be more of a challenge if I used it, you know, with a normal Porygon, right? So I went for the you Protect there. I can go for a Last Resort here. Now, since Lilligan doesn't have any boost in defense or anything like that, you know, Quiver Dance only bolstered its special attack, special defensive speed. It gets dropped in one shot there under the Trick Room. So I'm very, very happy about that one, getting rid of such a scary Pokemon. Speaking of scary Pokemon, we've got the Meowchow coming in here, and this thing is going to just destroy my team. It's a very, very strong fighting type Pokemon. And like my whole team's weak against so I'm like, it's not like I could swap or anything like that. So I'm thinking, right, if I go for last resort, this will do some good damage. And they're going to have Fake Out. I kind of thought they'd have Fake Out, but I was hoping they didn't, but uh, they did. So that's going to get rid of the Trick Room here. All I can do is go for Last Resort again and hope I can somehow live the next fighting move that I know is definitely coming my way. So I go for that Last Resort, and the Meow Chow could go for any sort of fighting type move here. I was wondering what it's going to be. I was like, okay, what if they got High Jump Kick? Let's go for a Protect there. And they're going to go for a Brick Break. It's like, dang. <laughs> I was hoping for that High Jump Kick Protect and get rid of half the health. Then again, they might have a Regenerator and swapped out and got the health back, but... 
You know, it was, it was all good there for the memes, right? So go for the last resort again here. We got the Brick Break from Meowchow, and Porygon is not going to be living that one. Like, this, it wasn't very bulky anyway. It's more of a, uh, you know, a tanky sort of sweeper with... No, it didn't have Everlight or anything like that, right? So that made it... Easy to one-shot with any sort of fire, uh, fighting time move. So we got Porygon 2 in here. I was like, if I can get, like, a Zap Cannon against this thing, like, I could go for the straight Zap Cannon here and get a Paralyzed. That'd be, like, really, really good. Now, instead of attacking me, it's going to go for a U-turn. I'm kind of glad that it didn't attack me with Brick Break here. It would have definitely been a 2 go. And the Mere Child's got to swap out there. And El Creamy is going to come in. That's the Rainbow with the Flower. Yeah, Rainbow of the Flower. So, Zap Cannon does a, a, a thumping three-quarters damage, and I get the Paralyzed, of course. When you land a Zap Cannon, you get 100% Paralyzed, which is really good there. And it's got leftovers as the item. So, I was like, okay, can I get lucky enough to get another Zap Cannon, or should I use this opportunity, right, to set up my my Gravity, right, and my Snore set? So, this one obviously worked on me being asleep. So, I'm going to set Gravity up first, and I was wondering what sort of moves I'm going to use. Is I going to use, like, a Static move? Or were they going to use an offensive move against me? So they're going to be going for a Draining Kiss. It's like, okay, that's not going to really do too much damage to me. I could go for a Rest here, and I could go for Rest, right? And then I'm thinking, if I could go for a Snore, right, that'll be stabbed. I might get a Fleech, or I might even get a Paralyzed. So, like, two Snores might be enough to take it out, right? I was running a, uh, this is what, Max Health, Max Special Defense, uh, Special Attack, if I didn't mention already. And, uh, yeah, it was actually a really, really fun set to run with Snore, right? But you had to get that Paralyzed, and you had to get that, um... You have to get the snore and everything going right. So go for Zap Cannon, and it's almost gonna take it out. So I, I took the uh, I took the risk there, and uh, now we've got another draining kiss. And I thought it's about time here I went for a rest right, because if I go for rest, I'll be back at full health, and then I can go for a snore right, and then I could go for another snore, and then you know I could start the whole process again. So I wouldn't get too low on health. Now, Porygon 2 is very, very good with Recover. I didn't want to run with the boring Porygon 2 Recover sets with Everlight that everyone in the, everyone and their mum knows how to run. You know, I wanted to run something a bit interesting and a bit difficult to use, right? So here I went for the rest, and I was like, okay, well, even if it's me with a Draining Kiss, it's going to do, like, no damage anyway. And then I can spam Snore, and I might even get a Flinch, right? Which will be very, very handy, right? However, I don't get a, I, I don't get a flinch. I actually uh, am able to get a paralyzed there. I mean, I couldn't get a flinch. I didn't attack anyway, right? So uh, the, uh, I'm guessing it's going to be about a two to three hit KO around here. Al creamy has got some really good special uh, defense, right? So now I can freely go for Snore. The only time you can use Snore is when you're asleep. I bet you guys never guessed that one. And now I'm going to go for a Snore here, hoping for the flinch. It does a little bit more than I thought, and I lived a one health. Oh man. That sucks so much. And now the Al Creamy um, is not going to be able to attack, which is really good there. Exclamation mark merch, or uh, merch if this is in a YouTube video, which I'm sure it will be. Uh, thank you to all the people who bought the merch. I am going to bring out some um, face masks, I was thinking, and some new merch as well. If you guys be uh, up to that sort of thing, let me know in the comments. Um, hopefully in the near future. Anyway, so Al Creamy is going to go down there, and I've taken two Pokemon out, which is really good. There's still that Meowchow sneaking around, though, so I was really worried about that. Speaking of uh, threatening Pokemon, in comes Lopunny. So like, okay, Lopunny, I think I can take this fairly well. I, I, it's got if it's got Limber, I kind of a little bit countered, but um, at least that can will do some good damage to it, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, it should still be like a two hit KO, judging on you know what a normal Lopunny uh, sweeping set would be. If it's bulky, maybe three, but I'm assuming it's going to be sweeping, right? I need a drink here. All these Porygons are making me thirsty, man. Mm. I just drank some. Porygon sparkling there. Tastes good. All right, so I'm going to hit by a close combat. I'm like, oh, no, that's really bad. So and just basically any fast Pokemon with a fighting type move was a big threat to this team. So I went for Gravity there, hoping they didn't. Well, I, I, I was hoping they didn't have close combat, and they do. So, yeah, that's pretty much my Porygon 2 down. There's nothing I could do here. There's no Pokemon I can swap into. That's the really bad thing about running these teams. Like, when... Someone has like an overwhelming advantage against you, right? You can't swap out because like you just basically you have to keep your Pokemon in and just bring the next one and the next one in. When they have like a, a counter move, right? If it's not that case, you do have a little bit more room to swap. So bring in my Porygon Z here. We're gonna get that uh, quick little download there, boosting my attack. I was like, okay, that kind of sucks, but uh, that's fine. Uh, this is the Hyper Beam set. It's like, okay, I've got a Dynamax this one. This is probably gonna be my only opportunity to uh, take the Lopunny out. And uh, you know, with that extra health of the Dynamax, I know that I can live it right in case it's like a crit or something like that. That'd be really, really bad. So, I could go for Max Lightning, Max Lightning, or I could go for Max Strike. I was like, let's go for Max Strike and take out this Lopunny. is a very, uh, you know, problematic Pokemon. I was wanting to actually save this for Mianchal, right? And I was like, 
What should I do? Should I save it? But in this stage, I only had two other Pokemon, and they were Porygon. There was a Porygon Z, the physical one, which was kind of slow. And there was the Porygon 2, the other one, which wasn't going to do too much damage anyway. So, like, I've got to use it up. I've got no choice right here. So, we got the close combat there from the Lopunny. Does three quarters damage to my Porygon Z. I'm like, I'm really, really glad that I Dynamax there. So, they're going to be dropping their defenses, which is fine. It didn't really matter anyway, because this was always going to hit super hard. And down goes the Lopunny there. The only thing I was worried about, if it did have, like, a Focus Sash or something like that. But uh, I'm kind of glad that it didn't. So I had the life orb damage there. The next poker we got is a Gardevoir. So like, okay, Gardevoir. This is going to hit very, very hard. So then it comes in and traces my download and gets a download boost. Like, oh, shit, here we go again. So hoping I can outspeed the Gardevoir here and go for another Max Strike. The great thing about using Max Strike on high beams is you can just keep using it. It's awesome, right? And that nice, fresh 150 base power. I'm loving that, right? And uh, then you can, like, when you're out of it, then you can fire another laser after that. So I go for a max strike there. I do outspeed the Gardevoir. And guess what? I one-shot it in uh, one shot, which is really, really good there. So there's that Meowshell left. And there's one other Pokemon which I know that I can definitely beat. Um, this It's the problem, right, is the Meowshell. So in comes the Frostlass. And I was like, okay, well, I can't go for a max strike here. I can go for a max lightning or a max mindstorm, right? They're my sort of uh, other two move options. Now, Frostlass is fairly quick too. Actually, I think they were running a theme team. Does anyone know what their theme team was? Let me know in the comment section, people. I think I just guessed it then, judging on like the nickname and stuff. Like the Kimono Girl from like uh, Generation 2. So I can go for Max Lightning or Max Lightning or Max Mindstorm. They're, they're the only things I can really go for. I thought about go for Max Mindstorm to stop any priority moves, right? But now I'm thinking, it, I mean, it might use Fake Out. That's about it. But uh, I don't think Fake Out will even take me out. So I just went for that. And uh, now the Frostass is going to go for the Ice Beam and take my Porygon Z out anyway. So it didn't really matter. I, I kind of had a feeling I get outsped right there. You know what I'm saying? So that one is going to go down. I was running on that Timid Nature. And max speed and max special attack. So the gravity is going to return to normal. We're going to bring in the Porygon here, the Porygon 2. And this was my trace set. I'm going to trace Cursed Body. So I'm like, cool, I, I got Cursed Body. That's actually not a bad ability. So we got a physical set here. Facade, Foul Play, Zen Headbutt, and Iron Tail. I'm like, okay, Iron Tail's probably going to miss. This was max health and max attack, right? So I'm thinking... I, th I got to go for two moves here. Foul play or iron tail. I'm going to go for foul play. And that should, you know, hopefully do around half health. And um, now we got the ice beam from the frost ass here. It doesn't do that much damage. About three hit KO. And then I get the cursed body, which is really, really good. So go for the foul play here. And foul play. Sorry, does like a little bit less than I hoped. And I'm like, okay. My only thing I've got to do now to take the Frostless out, I could go for Iron Tail. I could hit it with the biggest, pinkest tail in like the world here. So uh, thinking about this one for a little bit, it's a three hit KO. And it's like, let's go for Iron Tail and hopefully it lands right. So they're sort of waiting to do their move for a little bit. I'm thinking, maybe they'll swap here into Mian Shell and then swap it back in. But then it's going to go for Destiny Bond. I'm like, ah, oh, I, 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 I knew there was sort of a chance it could have it. But uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. I wanted to get rid of the Frost Ass anyway, right? So going for the Iron Tail. That should have been a Pink Tail. That was just, that looked like Mel Metal's tail. Uh, we got the uh, Frost Ass going down there. Not Mel Metal's tail. So I'm like, what, what's, a, what's a Pokemon with a steel, like, steel looking tail that's, that's gray? I can't think of it right now. Someone in the comment section will think, what is a Pokemon with a gray tail? Like a silvery tail. I'm just going to say Mimel that has a tail. So the next Pokemon we got here is the Porygon Z. It's shiny, right? And um, it's going to be doing some crazy damage with double edge. And hoping I can live this, uh, you know, this brick break. So we got a fake out here. Fake out does a lot of damage to me. I'm like, oh man, that did a lot. And such a low amount of like, like base power too. I went for double edge again, hoping I can outspeed the Mian Shell, and they are going to Dynamax. I'm like, oh well, I tried my very best there. And that's pretty much it for this battle, people. Uh, Mian Shell is going to Dynamax and use just a single fighting type move. It's going to use Karate Chop on me. This is the Pokemon in the team preview that I knew I wouldn't be able to get past. Like, all the other Pokemon, I was fine. I could have run a... I, could, I was thinking about running a Chopple Berry on this team, but I've had some other sort of exciting... Uh, like movesets and items I wanted to try out. So, I mean, I could have run a trouble, but it would have been handy for fighting tides. You know, that's how it goes. Anyway, thank you for the battle, Dilly King, and I hope you guys enjoyed both these battles. I shall be back, I think... Yeah, tomorrow. I'll be back with another theme team tomorrow. All right, people. Have a good day or night. Peace out.